How are you? Hello, my name is Doe. Hope we're doing good. And today we're going over the God Hand. I'm going to give you all some builds that are fun to use for the weapon to make it kind of viable, I guess, to an extent. And I want to discuss the changes that I would implement into the weapon to make it better and some sort of off the wall ideas for how you can make the weapon more interesting since after all, it's an exotic, not supposed to be great, but that doesn't mean it shouldn't be more fun to play. As for the build, let's go ahead and get started. We have a couple variations. The first one is what I would suggest if you're going for a big beam damage. So in the God Hand, we have Overpower, Catalyst, Special cannot be changed. Modifier is going to be Munitions Amplifier. This modifier makes it so your special, in this case the beam, will do the maximum damage it can out of all the other modifiers. Omnicell Discipline, if you're going for damage, that's what you need. Lantern Drask for that instantaneous burst damage, we have the Catalyst Cell in there. Headpiece, Time Weave with Predator. Chest Pieces, Thrax with Savagery. You could also use the Cool Shot Chest Piece. Gloves are going to be Boreas with Overpower. Feats are going to be Boreas with Cunning. Every single thing we have here contributes to our damage in some fashion or way. And the overall goal of this build is make a wound, maybe pop some potions, and then beam the freaking heck out of that wound to get as much damage as you can. And I think it's a fun build because what I was doing with it is trying to one beam behemoths. Now, it's not exactly a one beam, but it's close enough, right? And that's just trying to make the weapon fun and in interesting in some fashion. That's my overall goal in Dauntless, is trying to find different ways to play the game and enjoy it. And I'm aware that not everyone uses the Discipline Omni Cell, so let's go make a build for the Iceborne Omni Cell as well. And the first thing we want to do is address ourselves. What do we keep? What do we ditch? So the only things we have to look at are going to be Cunning and Predator. Cunning is still decent if you're doing things like Escalation, since oftentimes they have things like Amps or Talents that make Crit Chance more viable, so it's not a bad choice. Predator is never used in Iceborne builds since the expectation is you are going to get hit. Predator is not good if you get hit very often. So for anyone wanting a fun God Hand Escalation build, this is what I would use if I'm going for just shenanigans, if I don't want to use Predator. So in this case, use any Omni Cell you want to except Bastion is my suggestion. I'm going Discipline, in the Weapon, Overpower, Savagery, Modifiers, whatever you want to use. Lantern has Catalyst, pop those potions. Headpiece is Echoes in case I die. For whatever reason, I can come back with some vengeance, hopefully. Uh, chest pieces, Thrax with more cunning. Uh, gloves have sturdy and sturdy, so Agris with sturdy. And then the feet are time weave with rage. So this build does have catalyst. You could mix and match it however you want to to get rid of that if you really need to, but it's what I, it's, it's what I would use to have some fun in escalation. And a big fun factor from this build is using a cell called sturdy. Prevents you from being staggered on a 5 second cooldown. Normally when you get hit, you get knocked back a little bit, but with Sturdy, that will not happen for the first hit, and it refreshes every 5 seconds. So I've been moving houses, and I had time to think about different builds, and I like this Iceborne build a lot more than the one I may or may not have shown. I have no idea if I did, because I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, the build is Overpower Catalyst, Omnicell, Iceborne, but you could use Discipline, I'm just saying. Drask, Lantern with Catalyst. Uh, Chiroge Helmet with Sturdy, Sturdy Action, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Iceborne, wait, Boreas Chest Piece with Parathetic, and then Time Weave Gloves with Savagery, and Trog Feet with Rage. So this does require potions if you're using Catalyst, but it's super easy to swap it. All you gotta do is go in here, change this to like Zeal, I'm not sure which one to use, but change it to whatever you want to use, and then this is a free cell. This can be Assassin's Frenzy, and then the build's different, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it looks ugly, but it still works, all right? Now it's time to talk about the changes the God Hand needs to receive to make it just more viable in not a crazy way, and then some theory crafting that would probably make it broken in some extent because I got some dumb ideas. First of all, the God Hand needs extra beam storage. It only has one storage slot for its special, in this case the beam, even though the entire weapon is based on using its laser beam. That's the only thing it offers, only thing it brings to the table as an exotic Warpike. A regular Warpike gets three storage slots, which is ridiculous compared to the God Hand. So the God Hand needs to have at least two, possibly three, you know, maybe even four. It's a freaking exotic, you know? Just saying. Next up, maybe a dodge mechanic similar to Twin Suns, except it would just be for dodging, and when you did a perfect dodge, you got sort of an Aetheric Explosion similar to Chronovore, uh, Torgadaro, and Urska, but on a much smaller scale. Those giant AoE explosions they have, maybe add that to the Warp Pike on a dodge, make it cooler, but make it, you know, a lot smaller. And then lastly, what if the laser beam did wound damage, so it does core damage, part damage, and it also did wound damage, and also generated stacks of Pulse and Berserker. At the moment, when you use your God Hand Laser Beam, it does not affect Berserker or Pulse. 
So if you're channeling the beam, doing a ton of damage, a lot of freaking, you know, damage per second, it doesn't matter. It's not generating stacks of Berserker, so you get no extra damage from that perk during the special. And you also are not generating stacks of Pulse, so you don't get any extra crit chance or crit, at, crit activations for the beam. So changing those things, at least one of them, would make the God Hand a little bit better. On to the theory crafting slash dumb ideas. The first thing I want to say is what if the God Hand special created an image of itself? This could maybe be an exotic modifier because that'd be freaking sick to have those. And this would make it so you have to sit there and channel the beam and instead you have the game do it for you to an extent. If you have multiple charges, just imagine having multiple images of yourself channeling a laser beam at a behemoth. That would be sick. That'd be so dope. And the only thing with this is it's still fun to sit there and channel it yourself. So I'm not sure if you could maybe do it yourself as well. So maybe make it into if you had the modifier, you wouldn't have to add any more missile storage slots. And instead, when you channel the beam, you also had a duplicate channel at the same way, at the same place you're aiming. So there's two ways you can go with this. Either you create images uh, images of yourself that sit wherever you're, you're aiming and you walk away, or whenever you channel it, you have your, your clone or copy next to you that also aims wherever you're aiming. And the last thing I can think about is giving the God Hand another special that made it so you can create something like a Valmer drone. So like Valmer has these drones that spin around, they deal laser damage or deal damage, right? What if the God Hand could do that too with a different special? I think that that could be kind of interesting, kind of cool, and it would just give you a different way to play the game. That's all I'm looking for here. Different ways to play the game, and that could be kind of sick. And aside from that, I got one question. What would you change in the God Hand to make it more interesting, viable, and maybe overall better as a weapon in Dauntless? Because at the moment, it's definitely missing something. It does not have everything necessary to really complete its image of an exotic in the game. So I'm just curious. And now for the sellout portion, I do have a credit code, which is Odo. Use that in the Epic Games Store or the in-game doll store. Helps me out a freaking ton. I stream at twitch.tv forward slash Odo. And I have a separate YouTube and TikTok at Odougless. Other than that, I appreciate y'all watching the video. Have a good day or night, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.